we're going to talk about voltage converters and on some vehicles we don't uh, have them on, on, on this particular vehicle but uh, some vehicles will allow you to take uh, the uh, direct con current that come that eventually comes out of the alternator after of course it's converted to charge the battery you can convert it back to alternating current again and you can actually plug in your power tools and uh, you can actually plug in your laptop and, and anything that runs on household alternating current you can actually run off your vehicle of course the downside of that is you have to have the engine running because the engine has to uh, spin the alternator so that you're generating electricity and then it has to be converted again. So on this particular car, and this is a 40-year-old vehicle, we have an alternator pretty much similar to what's on the current vehicles uh, today, except this alternator has an external voltage regulator on it, which is right here. It's just a little relay type uh, regulator that's in there. So what actually has to happen is that regulator prevents the alternator from overcharging the battery and from the current, uh, you know, going or the voltage going up too high in the car's electrical system. So it, if it gets any higher than 15 volts, you're going to start to damage a lot of the circuits. You uh, turn on your headlights, it'll burn out the headlight filaments, things like that. So the regulator keeps that under control. The alternator, which is really called a self-rectifying alternating current generator, actually produces alternating current and then that current has to be rectified or changed from alternating which goes positive negative positive negative into direct current which basically has a square wave type of, uh, of uh, current pattern and that's regulated by diodes that are mounted in the back in a diode bridge in the back of the alternator and uh, that's how that's controlled. Uh, we can go back and show you some of the old DC generators on some of the older cars, but uh, if you don't uh, dealing with older cars, you really don't need to worry too much about something like that. And a lot of the older vehicles are even being retrofitted with alternators because alternators have the advantage of being able to charge when the engine is at idle speed, whereas the old DC generators uh, would actually show a discharge when the engine was idling and only charge when it was running. So alternator does a much better job of keeping the battery maintained. Remember, you want to keep that battery charged at or as close to full charge as possible. Uh, another thing I want, want, want to remind you about is that if you're going to let your car sit for a good time, a long time rather, I recommend uh, that you have that battery cutoff switch and also some type of battery maintenance system which is a very small charger, it charges about one and a half amps uh, there are several different brands available and you can put, hook that up to your car and you can just keep it plugged in and it acts as a battery maintainer where it'll maintain the battery if the battery needs to be charged it'll charge the battery and then once the battery reaches full charge it'll go into what's called a float charge mode where it just you know, keeps it at a certain level and maintains the battery for you and that way the battery will last a long time and uh, when you want to use your car you'll be able to jump in it and start it right up and not have to worry.